In today's video, we're working on this T6 and we're activating the indirect TPMS system in the driver's information system. Hi guys, I hope you're all keeping well. Another how-to video for you today, this time on a pretty decent spec VW T6. Now, it's a good customer of ours that we've done a lot of work for in the past doing this and that, but what we're doing this time, um, which on some T6s, they don't have it, either the direct or indirect, the TPMS system. So this is when you jump in and you would then have on your driver's information system down here, let's just pop the ignition on. Turn the radio down and then in your settings using your controls or your, your stalk down here you should have um, something in here that talks about the TPMS but this vehicle doesn't have it so we can't we, we're going to activate it and what we're going to do this is an actual how-to video on how to do it with VCDS. We will at some point try and do a Carista video and or uh, an OBD11 type video on how to do it yourself without this type of diagnostic equipment. But this one is for people that have got it. Um, they can do it themselves, free of charge. We're not charging you anything for it and all that. But if you don't have VCDS, don't worry. We can just charge you to do this. You can either come down to us here at our workshop in Poole or we can... Um, if we've got a nationwide engineer that's close to you that has access to it as well, we can use them to be able to do it for you. So you've got options. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump forward now into a screen recording of me using VCDS and how to code it all up. And then I'll come back and show you the final result. Okay, so you're going to fire up VCDS and you're going to go straight into select control module. We're going to go to O3 ABS, straight into coding and then long coding helping. Now, the bit that we're changing is in byte 15 and you'll probably have E6 in there. We're gonna change that to D3 and you can see it just changing it there. Always make sure you copy and paste your original current coding so that you've got it. Coding will be accepted and that's it. It's as simple as that and I'll see how it works in the car. Okay, so we've just done the coding. Um, so you can probably see that after doing what we've just shown on the screen recording, we've now got these uh, icons flashing in the cluster down here and over here. But what we're gonna do is just quickly scroll to settings. Okay, so what you do is you just go along to here, tire pressure, you'll notice that these have stopped flashing. Now, I did try and do this straight after coding, but it didn't like it, it didn't store it. So what I did is I cycled the ignition, took the key out, locked the van, put the key ignition back in and those lights have disappeared and we're going to go and try it now. So tire pressure, uh, whenever we've been pressed, please press store. And I'm just using my controls down here. Um, push confirm. Tire pressures have been stored. That icon flashed up and has now disappeared. Tire pressure stored and that's it. Now what will happen is your ABS module over the next X amount of miles will learn the rotation speed of your wheels so that as tire pressure decreases and the rotation speeds up, it will then flag a warning to say that something's not quite right with one of your tires and to check them and it will bong up to tell you that it's got that problem. So. Another how-to video on the VW T6. Um, we do quite enjoy doing these. Um, this one was a requested one actually through our YouTube channel from the customer that's done it before. Um, so he got in touch and asked us to do one and also to do it for him. So if you enjoy the videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We're gonna be doing a lot more of these type of videos. And um, as always, like the video. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day. Cheers.